Hello students, back again with a new topic of chemistry that is physical and chemical changes. Change can be defined as an alteration in physical and chemical properties of matter which give a new shape and properties to it. Change is a continuous process and a permanent characteristic of nature and in everyday lives. Change may involve different kinds of alterations. Change in shape, size, color, state or composition. Students, all of you must have observed the melting of an ice cube. Similar phenomenon takes place in nature. The glaciers on the mountain tops melt during the summer season. The solid ice changes to liquid water. Have you ever broken a window pane or dropped a glassware? You must have seen how it shatters into small pieces and there is no way you can fix it up within minutes so that you can avoid being caught, isn't it? The house inmate who is drinking out of a tin can is filled with anger and crushes the tin can. The shape of the tin can changes. But not to worry, the tin can can again be brought back to shape. And so also the window pane that you have broken. You must have observed white smoke being produced during a stage show. This is solid carbon dioxide being converted to gaseous carbon dioxide. This process is called sublimation. Next, let's take an example of the storm. There is a sudden change in the weather. A lot of rain, wind, thundering all together. You may not like it as it brings a lot of inconvenience. Yes, change of day and night. It takes place after every 12 hours and it repeats itself. The burning of coal, wood, paper, cow dung, etc. leads to formation of new substances like carbon dioxide and water vapor. Also, lot of heat and light energy is produced. The properties of the products are entirely different from the reactants and we cannot get back the original substance. How can we forget ourselves? We have grown up from a baby to a toddler, to a young boy or girl and then to an adult. We will also become old in future. So growth is also a change. Ripening of fruit is also a change which we cannot reverse. Now, here your job starts. You will observe the changes that take place around you. Make a list and try to categorize them whether those changes are temporary or permanent. Are you benefited out of those changes or does it bring you loss? Can you reverse those changes? That's all for today children. Think and prepare a list. We will be discussing them in detail and categorizing those changes in the next video. Bye for now.